Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Aeroscale, and we've got another turning the page for you. This is an Osprey book, Osprey Aircraft of the Aces, number 118. I'm going to read it there with the yellow uh, type there. Uh, this is uh, Aces of Yogstaffel 17, uh, obviously World War One biplanes and such. This one is by Greg Van Wingarden. And it's part of, uh, again, their Osprey Aces of the Aircraft Series 118. On the back, I can just read the back here. Initially formed to assist in the defense of the city of Metz against French bombing raids, Royal Prussian Jagestel 17 would become one of the most distinguished German fighter units of World War I and appeared in the skies new, uh, above numerous battlefields, including those of Flanders and Cambrai. In its first victory is scored by the Blue Max recipient Julius Buckler pilot whose story is interwoven with that of his unit. Besides Buckler, uh, Yasta 17 boasted uh, such aces as Carl Strasser, Alfred Fleischer, and Christian Donhauser. The roster also included colorful characters like uh, successful Jewish airman Jacob Wolf, who 46 years of who at 46 years of age was the oldest German fighter pilot of the war. These aviators flew a range of legendary World War I aircraft, mastering the use of the Albatross, Faults, Fokker, uh, and Fokker machines against their foes. The story of these illustrious units is told with many first-hand accounts by Buckler, Fleischer, and others, and illustrated by rare archival photos and of the unit's beautifully decorated fighter aircraft and Harry Dempsey's legendary profile artwork. Um, this book is uh, roughly about 96 or so pages. Uh, it runs 14 pounds in the UK, $23 in the US, and $24 in Canada. So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside jacket. And uh, we can see uh, lots of going to be typical of an Austrian book, lots of black and white photography, especially from that era. era. Don't expect any color photos, maybe some color illustrations and such, but let's see. The contents are Origins in Metz, Air Action on the a son, a snay, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that. Fight over, fights over Flanders, uh, Cambrai, and beyond. Final days, appendices. And again, there are going to be some color plates in here, but lots of text, lots of um, black and white reference photos from the period. Um, basically outlining some of the things that I just read about on the back cover, obviously, or that's what we're looking at. You can see some of the color plates they've done of all the different aircraft in the unit. Quite a few of those, top views, side views, and the Fighter of Flanders chapter. So, you know, just a brief page through here. Uh, the appendices include things like, for each of the color plates, they give you a, uh, a long, detailed uh, explanation of whose unit it was and, and uh, so forth and so on. In the appendices, they have more uh, information here, like victories of the various pilots and so forth and so on. So uh, probably for World War, World War I aficionados, this is definitely going to be potentially a book to own. Uh, certainly low cost for a typical Osprey-type uh, reference book. And uh, probably noticing the my background, which is the Hasegawa uh, Sop with Camel, which will be doing a video on that uh, shortly. So um, thanks for watching, and if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below.